Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fiscal Security, your personal trainer. The purpose of this channel is to get the awareness regards to the fiscal security industry, the procedures and protocols which we follow in our day-to-day -day life in our security field. So without wasting your time, let us go into the video. Hello friends, welcome back once again to Physical Security, your personal trainer. And today we're going to discuss about physical security. What is security? Where do we use security? Where do we require security? We have already discussed in our previous videos. Essential security as an essential services, uh, security services and uh, what is physical security? Where do we require security and how to deploy them? In this video, we're going to know about what is security. We have been uh, discussing about all these things, but we don't know what is security. What security is exactly uh, as per our corporate uh, responsibilities, what are their core jobs and what do they do at the sites. So coming to the agenda of today. So definition of security, what does the word security defines? Personal protection, what is human protection? What is material protection? How do we protect material? information protection how do we protect information so consult finally uh, consolidate procedures what are the consolidated steps to protect all together so security what is the definition of security we're gonna know today so definition of security is to protect man material and information you can say that man like uh, human beings or animals and uh, in materials you can define as in company assets movable or removable assets and other than that information protection like uh, if some uh, software companies are working on a project if uh, it is an industrial area you can file a finished product which, ha which has to be manufactured and uh, shipped to the customer or client so how do we protect this so definition of the security is to protect personal material and information personal protection protecting the man human being from the physical threat like incident accident medical emergencies etc material protection protecting the material from theft vandalism burglary damage etc information protection protecting information from manipulation copying theft destroy etc so you can see a lot of activities going on in industries or maybe a corporate companies so uh, this can be this uh, theft or vandalism or whatever it is the harm causing to the man material and information can be overcome to this uh, security procedures so now we're gonna know about the definition of security so physical security describes security measures that are designed to deny unauthorized access to facility equipment and resources and to protect personal property and information from damage or harm such as incident accident theft etc so what does this physical security describes saying denying authorized entry so denying authorized entry is like simply uh, not allowing any other person uh, outsider without no reason he cannot enter any any of the authorized uh, area of the building so for this we create lot of barriers so that it will it could be a uh, very hard for him to enter inside to the core area of uh, organization where the finished product has been stored so for corporate companies it will be a server room or hub rooms for uh, companies it will be a finished product storage area where uh, the product is ready to be delivered to the customer or client so for this what what are all the things we required to uh, create these barriers for the uh, persons for the ex uh, external persons so here we're going to discuss about fiscal security involves the use of multiple layered of interdependent systems that can include cctv surveillance security guards protective barriers locks access control perimeter intrusion detection deterrent system fire protection and other system designed to protect persons property and information so in today's topic we will be discussing only few things uh, not all the things because uh, each and every word each and every word exists of uh, different uh, 
scenarios so each and everything will be discussed in future videos so each and every word will be defined and uh, what is the purpose of that in a security field i'm going to discuss uh, about that so coming on to the personal protection what is the person protection so protecting a person from accident incident pulp rage theft sabotage harassment attacks etc so at site at uh, at a corporate office or a, be it be a industrial area wherever it may be so you can see this accident incident theft everything so how to how how the security person is safeguarding the people from all these things for this we create barrier access restriction protocols and procedures through planning execution reporting and feedback so today we're going to discuss about all these four points and how do we create the barriers or access restriction things uh, what are the protocols what are the procedures which we follow in the security industry so coming on to the first topic uh, we have a through access control we can restrict the uh, external person or uh, outsider from entering the premises through effective lighting we can uh, even exclude the thinking of a person to uh, get involved into the theft if it is think if somebody is thinking of uh, planning a theft at a site if there is no lighting it will be easy for him and other thing is intrusion detection system which we uh, uh, usually place at the premises uh, perimeter walls and surveillance system which will be internal and external both sides so coming down to the access control system monitor and control traffic through specific access points and areas of the secure facility so uh, giving only authorization to the few employees who are working in the premises effective lighting security lighting is another effective form of uh, deterrence intruder intruders are less likely to enter well lit areas for fear of being seen intrusion detection can be installed to alert security person when unauthorized access is attempted they consist of sensors including perimeter sensors motion sensors contact sensors and uh, glass break detectors coming on to surveillance surveillance cameras can be a uh, deterrent when placed in highly visible locations and are useful for incident ass assessment and historical analysis these are not only for a uh, uh, historical analysis this will be also work on the real time basis if some event or uh, something is going on you can directly uh, visualize all these things sitting at a control room so coming on to the material protection what is material protection and how do we protect materials so protecting the material from theft damage illegal acquiring loss through exchange of material fire accidents etc so even in this thing also uh, a person has to be involved uh, in a site where the person will be uh, carrying out the material means theft or a person may be damaging the material or illegal acquiring loss through exchange if he is uh, carrying out the original one and placing the same branded material uh, over there but which is uh, not the authorized thing or maybe uh, through fire accidents we are protecting the materials so for this we plan for the proper material movement gate passes restriction of items prohibition of items proper handling procedures proper storage places proper discarding procedures etc so you may think what is this di discarding of the procedures soon we're gonna uh, learn about that what why the importance of the discarding of the material is so coming to the material protection through screening process we can uh, restrict the restricted items uh, from entering the premises so that the exchange of materials goes down here so screening will uh, reduce the risk of exchange of material at site prohibition of the goods help helps uh, not only to restrict the exchange but also made easy in internal theft investigations so gate passes through gate passes uh, gate pass plays a major role in any industry for securing accountability and exchange of the material at the site fire protection to prevent the fire accident at site we have uh, readily planned 
for the extinguishing equipment and distance storage to prevent spread all over when the huge fire breakout is there. So garbage handling, this was the one which I was discussing earlier. So garbage discard is an is event where lot of things can miss. If you are not handling in a proper way, small offices never thought of this and faces a huge losses than in smaller quantities. So coming into the information protection, how do we protect the information? Protecting the information from copying, theft, manipulation, etc. So to protect information, we include few restriction policies and employ awareness programs also train the guards on suspicious activity. So information protection is not that much easier as we see through restriction access or through surveillance or through anything. We can't restrict all these things at a time. So for this, we need even uh, employees and security guard awareness on this, how the theft or uh, manipulation or copying of the, the things happens in the site. So we need to educate them timely for uh, avoiding such incidents at sites. So coming on to the information protection, what are the protocols and procedures which we follow at sites usually? Most of the companies follow these restriction policies to secure their uh, data. This includes restriction of storage devices, photography and uh, visitor at the protection area. So even in some companies they uh, manage saying that you don't, uh, you don't have to take the photograph once you are inside the site. You can't carry a pen drive or hard disk with you uh, into the site and uh, also the visitor are restricted only till the common areas. They are not allowed into the protection area. So another thing is employee awareness as I uh, already discussed with you. Employee awareness plays an important role in the security industry to secure surroundings this includes area restrictions securing their workplace before leaving visitor policy etc so training security team on suspicious behavior help us to find out the culprits and can prevent the loss before committed so if your security persons at site are trained then you may not have to face all these things and you can easily uh, identify those culprits at sites. So what are the consolidate procedures? Here we will discuss about the procedures which helps in protecting all together or they are part of protecting two or more aspects among our topic. So two or more aspects is like uh, a single procedures can avoid man protection like uh, they can help in man protection and material protection or material or information protection or man or information protection. So this video only discussed on the procedures of security but in my future videos I'll explain in detail about each procedure and how to perform it. So let's see these consolidated procedures before that uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos because you're gonna receive lot of informative uh, videos and on a single topic so please be tuned on with my channel. So coming on to the consolidated procedures, what are uh, this consolidated procedure means? So as I discussed, as I said earlier, these procedures involve one or two securing things, maybe a man or material at a single time. So coming into this, the first procedure is deterrence method. In the initial layer of security for a campus, building, office or other physical space, uses uh, uses crime prevention through environmental design to deter threats some of the most common examples are also the most basic warning signs are window stickers fences vehicle barriers vehicle height restrictors restricted access points security lighting trenches etc these are all the things which we uh, need to keep keep in my mind while designing the premises uh, at the time of construction itself so coming on to the mechanical access control system, this includes turnstile gates, doors and locks, control uh, key control of the locks before a problem with large user population and any user turnover keys quickly become unmanageable often forcing the adoption of electronic access control. 
so mechanical access uh, control system includes like uh, all your office keys or uh, maybe your doors so if you are not securing them properly then they can lead to the major theft which cannot be recovered later so coming on to the gad patrol system this is a physical process of the security where a guard the security guard is been uh, deployed over there for uh, patrolling the premises this includes with the guard physically goes for rounding the premises and check the lapses and procedures he will be manned with the proxy pen imminent danger notification system idns switch baton whistle portable light walkie talkie etc these are the things which you need to carry for uh, informing others or alerting others nearby that some incident is been going on here or maybe a incident has just happened and uh, need to be investigated on that so we'll discuss other procedures and methods in detail in my upcoming videos so thanks for watching physical security please subscribe to my channel as you have to uh, as you gonna know more details uh, regarding the security so if you like this video please share subscribe to my channel thanks for watching